it's time to introduce you to one of your main tasks here, invasive species and pest culling. We have heaps of them in Australia. Some are native, quite a few were introduced. They come in all shapes and sizes. I'll show you my tea fields. You'll see the mess pests can do and why they're a major problem to both the ecosystem and the economy. I've tagged the location on your hunter, mate. Can't wait to see you in action. Talk later. Oh, and as agreed, to help you in your task, our Hunters Association is happy to offer you a varmint rifle. You can just go collect it yourself. I've left it at an outpost close to where you're going. Back in the 18th and 19th centuries, people thought it would be fun to bring deer over and hunt them, just like they did back in Europe. Soon enough, they thrived in their new environment and started competing with native animals. Yeah, within a few generations, deer populations were out of control. And that's just one of the many biodiversity challenges we have. Just in the last decade, we lost tons of threatened species. You'll often hear Aussies say that if you give it enough time, any species will become feral. Usually two to three generations tops. Here, you'll find mostly feral pigs and feral goats. Both of them are some of the worst invasive pests in Australia. They destroy everything. We don't talk about them as much as rabbits or feral cats, but we should. The rule of thumb is, if it's feral, it's OK to shoot, because you'll be doing nature a service. They ruin pastures, crops, orchards, not to mention they're also a major road hazard out here in the bush. You made it to the tea fields? Nice one. As you can see, the damage can be pretty bad when certain species become overabundant. That's why pest control is a responsibility everybody shares in Australia, even non-hunters. But for that, you'll need your varmint rifle. It's waiting for you. It's the perfect calibre to hunt small to medium animals. The only thing we'll ask is that you take a small target practice test. We want to test our hired hunters' skills and confidence. Even pests need to be shot ethically. Isn't it a beaut? You'll see, it also does the job well. Now, how about a bit of practice? Let's start off nice and easy. See that soft drink can? Shoot it and start getting a feel for your new weapon. Let's up the ante a little. Try to shoot that target. Still using the rifle, of course. <laughs> Not bad. So, what do you reckon? To me, it's practical, reliable and lightweight. It may not be the most common calibre for pest hunting, not even in Australia, but it's my personal favourite. Sometimes it's nice to just focus on yourself, your posture, your breathing, your aim. So, if you're game, you're welcome to keep honing your skills. 
The best hunters are the humble ones, if you ask me. Now that that's settled, feel free to do what you do best. Here's a bunch of bounty assignments for you, but no rush. We'll leave it up to you how you want to plan your hunts. Thanks for your help, mate. <laughs>